We're answering your questions about the coronavirus with Cone Health's Chief Physician Executive, Dr. Bruce Swords. This person texts, a friend visited me last Saturday and found out a few days later that she was positive. I've remained isolated since she told me. I haven't had any symptoms. Should I still be tested? It's a good question. And there's probably a couple good answers here. One is if you will stay away from people for 14 days after your exposure, uh, you probably don't need to be tested. Uh, there is some thinking that maybe everybody after exposure should be tested four to five days after they were exposed. Uh, the thinking behind that is one, you'll know whether or not uh, you have the virus, so you can be extra cautious with your symptoms and extra cautious with uh, staying away from people. Uh, I think we all recognize that it's hard to stay away from people for 10 to 14 days if you don't know why you're doing it. If you know that you have the virus, even if you're asymptomatic, you're more likely to really quarantine and stay away from people. This question is about the flu shot. Can you get the flu shot twice now and then in several months? You certainly can. Um, there's no real science behind the effectiveness of that. Uh, but we do know that it's not going to be harmful to you. So there are people who like to get it early and then get it later in the season just for this double protection. Again, not a whole lot of science behind it and it's not going to hurt you. All right, this uh, next text deals with uh, some news that came out over the weekend that claimed that the CDC was saying that many of the COVID-19 deaths weren't due to COVID-19. And there was some back and forth about all this. So this person is asking, what is the true sickness and death rate when only considering COVID-19? And can you explain some of what was going on with those numbers? Yeah, good, good question again, trying to understand what's really attributed to COVID and what is attributed to things other than COVID. The, the way I think about this and what we've been saying for a long time and have known for many months is that uh, people who get this SARS-CoV-2 uh, coronavirus and also have multiple comorbidities uh, are likely to suffer and likely to die more often than people who just have coronavirus and are perfectly healthy. So trying to figure out, well, did someone who got coronavirus really die of a stroke or their other comorbidities? Uh, I don't think is really a, a helpful discussion. What I would say is that those people who had multiple comorbidities were living the life they were living, then they got COVID and then they got sick and died. So in that sense of the, um, using that logic, they really did die of COVID-19 and their comorbidities contributed to it. Because you're saying they would not have died possibly at that point of their underlying issues. It's because they got COVID that exacerbated that. that that's exactly right. Okay. Um, this person is asking, should people over 70 take the stronger flu shot this year rather than the regular dose? Yeah, there are high dose vaccines out there and there are populations of people who uh, should get the high dose flu immunization and certainly being uh, over 70 is one of the groups that ought to get a higher dose uh, flu immunization. Mm -hmm. Can you or will we be seeing H1N1 and H1N2 this winter? So we don't know. Um, these both of those um, designations are designations used for particular flu strains. Um, H1N1, I think was identified, gosh, almost a decade ago, caused a significant uh, outbreak and pandemic of influenza. Um, and we haven't really had to think about that over the past many years. Um, and as far as influenza goes, we're not gonna worry about that until we know we need to worry about it. And I'll just reiterate, get the current flu immunization. Mm -hmm. And get it now, don't wait. Yes. All right, we're gonna end on that. Thank you for sharing your time and your expertise. Thank you for texting us your questions so that we all learn a little something else today.